Hello and welcome. I'm Kateri, also known as Vinoxis. I am a professional tarot reader, and I'm here to show you my tarot collection. As always, this video is timestamped for your convenience. Feel free to skip to wherever you wish to start. My flip throughs are comment free if you just want to get right to the goods. Today, I have a pair of the 8-bit fantasy tarot decks by Deck Chi, the pocket edition and the tiny edition. It is a self-published Kickstarter deck. It was $45 Canadian for the pocket size and $31 Canadian for the tiny size. I got a bundle of the pair of them for $69. Shipping was $7. At current time of recording, there isn't an option to purchase outside the Kickstarter, but I'll update the description below if that changes with the link. Honestly, there's not much to talk about when it comes to the deck and conception. It's a really cute 8-bit deck. I know that they wanted to pay homage to Game Boy games of the 90s, and it works really well. Let's take a look at the boxes here. It's super cute. I'll be reviewing both at the same time. What attracted to me, this, I'll be frank, this is a 78 card RWS club. It's just going to be a right away Smith. But what particularly attracted me was the size of them. They're super cute. Like, here is a quarter, and they're not very big. So I'm really excited to just have something that's a little unique in my collection. So let's just get right into it. All right, so before we get into the tarot, let me show you the extras that they gave me. So for the extras, first of all, we have this pack of stickers. It's a little bit of a spoiler with what's in there. But again, these stickers are tiny 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 and it is the full deck right in there I believe it is I hope it is we'll find out together from what I understand it is the full deck I wouldn't be mad at either because if it's just the minors that means I have backups but if it's a full deck yep yeah, it's the full deck oh my gosh so this is gonna kill me because I'm not gonna want to stick them anywhere I'm gonna want to keep them forever that's super cute now I also received two additional extras. So I have deck sleeves for the pocket size, which is really nice. I'm not sure how many is in here. I'm assuming at least 78. And then for the tiny size, I got this cute little tarot bag. Um, first, first feeling doesn't really feel like it's gonna be the greatest quality. Yeah, it's definitely like that, that cheaper style of velvet, but it's cute. A little off center. Whatever, it was free. I'm not mad at it. All right, move these out of the way. And we will discuss the decks. All right, so according to the description, this box has silky matte lamination. Look how cute that box is. Uh, it's too cute. And this one has touch sensitive rubber box. I'll be honest. I'm not feeling any difference there, so we'll see when we open it up if it's any really different. All right, so we'll start off with the pocket edition. Oh, look how cute that is. That is so cute. What do we got here? All right. Dear Tarot Backer, hope that the 8-bit fantasy tarot deck can make you get out of bed with a bright heart every day and make the experience more adorable. And that is actually, yep, that is a hand-signed card. Beautiful, that is so cute. And we have the deck itself and the plastic. Gingham mm -hmm. on the back, that is so cute. There's the fool, so we'll go with that here in a second. Inside the box, nothing inside it, so nothing really to go home there. Look how small and tiny that is. That is so precious. All right, let's get this open. Oh, one thing I noticed is that we do have a logo. Probably deck tree. I don't know if this is their first deck. I'm not sure if they're coming out with new ones. And again, we get this super cute little card. Yeah, it's the same thing, and it's also signed. Again, 
nothing really interesting in the box itself. But holy hell, that's cute. Alright, so if we want to compare sizes for... Okay, so this is definitely... Yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. But this is a... Um, just feels like cardboard, just feels like cardstock. It's really cute, but we'll take it off on the sides here and then we'll just get right into both these decks. Alright, there is no little white book, which is fine. It's an RWS clone. I'm not that concerned. No edging on either of them. This would be cute with a little brown edging on it, I think. And if we're looking at sizes here, there is a bit of a, a thickness difference for sure. We'll go over that. Alright, pocket size. That is 400 GSM. So we're not seeing a whole lot of like significant bounce there so we know the card is nice and thick when it comes to the finish that is got closer yep that's definitely like a poker linen finish it is not as floaty as a regular linen finish so I think it's more of a poker finish for sure the difference between a linen finish and a poker finish is that linen finish are a lot more airy well poker finish is a little more grippy honestly they're almost identical unless you are really nerdy you're not really going to tell the difference at all and it comes to this teeny size. So this is 350 GSM. <laughs> I don't even know. Like, how do you whack that? It's so cute. And look at the back on that. Little sunflower. Here to the game on here. Oh, and that is a matte finish. Um, this is actually a rose petal finish. So for something like this, this actually might work for a deck that size. This is going to be easier to um, shuffle. It's going to be harder to shuffle overall, but it's going to be easier to shuffle because of that grippiness. And we are going to pull out, again, our quarter, just to show how small these are. Man, that's cute. That is so cute. All right, Rider Red Smith, what do we got going on here? It's a little smaller, or should I say width-wise, but it is more of a square. It's gonna be the cutest little comparison. Ugh, that's cute. All right, I'm actually just gonna get right into the flip through and we're gonna do both at the same time. Why not?
Yeah, okay. So the one thing I did notice is that the kerning on some of these is just kind of off. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me at first when I saw that. I was thinking, well, maybe they just didn't have room. But then if we look at like the King of Pentacles here, they definitely just kind of screwed up a little bit there. And honestly, it's not that big of a deal. It's hard to complain. The deck is very cute. Same here. Also, it does come with these super, super cute like additional cards, the Lost Land. I'm not sure what it is because they don't have one, a little white book, two, there was no really description, it's just additional card. So you can kind of make up your own meaning for it. So that's really cute. I love that muffling. All right, so I actually really enjoy this size because I can just shuffle it real good. Oops. Pretty easy. It's a linen finish, so it's gonna be straightforward. It's also, it's, it's still a little messy, honestly. Maybe it's just because I suck at shuffling my cards, which is also a very strong possibility. Yeah, it's a little messy, just because they don't quite, quite, quite want to grip well. Wait, language. They don't quite like to grip well, but for the most part, it works. And it's very cute. Actually, I didn't even notice. No, they're not square. I thought they might have been square, but they do have a little bit of extra height in them. They're cute. But what we're here for is this little guy. Holy shit, she's cute. Yeah, this is definitely a lot more of a pain in the arse to shuffle. But I will tell you that, again, as much as I don't like that rose petal finish, on this deck, it's going to work a little bit better. Yeah, this is definitely a deck you're going to want to do the shuffling technique that I posted that I'll post a little link up here so you can get a proper shuffle on it. And then from there, just kind of do it on occasion to reprime the deck because this can definitely be a pain in the neck. When it comes to the card toss and final thoughts, I'm going to do it with this little guy here. All right, thoughts. Do I recommend this deck? I don't know if I do. Now I say this deck, I mean the pair of them. It is very, very cute, but it is just a Rider Waite Smith clone down to the T. The only really difference here is that the titles of the minis are color coded according to the elemental correspondence, but big whoop, honestly. I think this would be very useful as like a little purse deck and the pocket size would be really useful when it comes to like a desk deck or something to throw in your backpack. But overall, other than its size, there's really nothing to kind of crow home about the cute little thing. I'm definitely pleased that I have it because I think that it's something I can kind of show off for the collection. But when it comes to utility, it's not going to do anything that the Rider Waite Smith isn't already going to do. And when it comes to pixel based decks like this, the Pixel Tarot, which I've already done a review on, this is Collector's Edition. This is a, just a much nicer deck, honestly, especially when it comes to the UV hidden images that are in the artwork itself. So I don't know how much I would recommend this one over this one, to be honest. I think this one's just a lot nicer. But as I said, the utility of the size is going to be the big seller here. Overall, it, again, it's a right away Smith's clone down to even the colors. Even the colors almost seem a little muted in comparison. But I do understand in context that is due to its inspiration being kind of a Game Boy inspiration. And going back to these, what makes these so freaking cute is that they are literally the size of a Game Boy screen. Honestly, probably a little smaller. I think that they're both in between. This is too big. This is a little too small. But I think that's the biggest appeal is that kind of Game Boy kind of nostalgia effect on this. Because I find that even you can see right there the color differences between the two. That may be due to the printing, but I don't think it is. I think there is a slight sepia tone on the pocket edition for a reason because 
again, nostalgia is the big thing here, which I'm not bad at at all. I think it's really cute, but again, I'm on a, a drum right now. I just find that the Pixel Tarot does this a lot better. I did a review with this, post it right up there again. So for me, I, I have better recommendations when it comes to a Pixel deck, but this is very cute. So if you do want a Pixel deck that does have a size, like a portability factor to it, this definitely might be up your alley. If you want something that is a little more quality when it comes to the card stock and when it comes to just the overall thought on it, I think the Pixel Tarot actually does a better, basically just does it better. When it comes to the extras, uh, I'm not going to use these card sleeves, let's be realistic. But it's just a poker finish, it's not going to get beat up. The, again, the bag is probably the most useful just because I can put the entire thing. Can I? Oh, I can. Yeah, perfect. So I can put the entire thing in this little bag and then bring that around with me. But that's pretty much it. Honestly, the biggest thing for me when it comes to the extras is that it's really nice to receive extra cards. Not mad at that. And what thrills me the most is the stickers. Man, they're cute. I'm just... I don't know what to stick them on because I'd want to stick them on something that I'd keep forever. But stickers don't make a deck. <laughs> I'm just really happy with these. They're so cute. So overall, uh, I would say great deck. I just don't understand where the utility would be for most people. So unless it's something that you really want, I wouldn't go out of your way to grab this one. So yeah, I hope this is helpful to you in some way. Follow me on my Instagram at Vinoxus. I'll be posting a spread inspired by this deck. If you want to give an offering to the algorithm gods my name, please like and subscribe. And I'm not gonna get you to comment below your favorite card because it's a Rider Waite Smith. But tell me what you like about both these decks. Tell me what you like the most. Those comments do help me out a great deal. I do post tarot reviews on Sunday, so you'll not be without without a subscription. That's it for me. Good luck and remember your power. <laughs>